Okay, this next um, demo is going to show you how to do carpets. I already have two created, so we're gonna kind of um, just show you how to do one, and then I'll show you how to put in multiples again. So let me go back over to Revit. So we've got, um, here's our tile from earlier. So again, you're on the Manage tab. You're gonna go to your materials. Carpet's a lot easier. It's it's the easiest one out of all the materials because there's always gonna be this default red carpet. Um, and it's, you know, carpet isn't going to differ a whole lot in terms of depth and how light bounces off of it. So this is perfectly fine to use for all your installations for pretty much. Obviously, we don't want this bright red. So we're going to click on the carpet one, right click, say duplicate. Um, again, in case we don't want to lose this lovely red, we're going to click on the, the white box. You want to remember to do this, especially with carpet. We're going to make a lot for our final project. So get in the habit of not forgetting to do this. So white box. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the name of the carpet. Um, in my case, again, we've got to navigate back to my folders here. Do, 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 let's see. Oh, hold on. Uh, let's cancel for just a second here. All right. So here we are back in my files. I already have samples made for Spark and I think Verve and it's Zest that I don't have. So I'm going to click on open for that. Um, I want to... This, Check on the size of this guy. So I'm going to click on the picture. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is rename it. So let's rename it now. And this is carpet. Uh, again, get in the habit of giving it its material name. And it's a uh, Shaw Zest. All right. So there's that. Okay. Now, these ones I know are kind of been a little funky with coming in with the correct sizes. So this guy, uh, when I took the image from their website, I'm pretty sure it's either three by three or four by four. Um, they're usually two foot by two foot tile. So I'm going to guess that it's six foot by six foot. So I'm going to put six foot in here. Um, see how the proportions are off. So I'm going to click on the little lock and unlock it. Um, so now it should be six foot by six foot. I'm going to say done. Going to go over in graphics, make sure we're, we've got use render appearance. All right, that's looking good. Um, size looks good. Say apply, say okay. All right, so now to put in the carpets, we're going to go back to architecture and flooring and then floor architectural. And when this jumps up, again, there's a default option for carpet. Uh, let me see where it went. I don't know if I overrode it. Where did it go? Huh, all right, let's see. I might've overwritten it. It's been a long day. I'm so, let's see where it went. Uh, let's see ARPG. Oh, it's there. I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, it was at the very bottom. Okay, we're good. All right, so we got carpet here. So we're gonna click on edit type. Now we're gonna, again, duplicate this guy. So I'm gonna try to kind of remember all the names. So this one's gonna be Carpet Verve, and we'll say, okay, and we'll say edit. And under the carpet name, we wanna swap out that red one, and instead we want Shaw Verve. So we're gonna say, okay with that, okay, okay again. I'm gonna kind of make the three one after the other. So there's my Verve, and then I'm gonna use this default one again. So it's just the basic one. So clicking on edit type, duplicate. This one is now gonna be uh, Spark, the other one. Spark, there we go. Okay, edit, click on that, pick my Spark. And I think my last one is Zest. All right, so we're gonna do these all really quick. So again, the next one is, let's see what we're gonna do here. So we've got Spark and then Zest is the last one. So edit type, duplicate. Carpet Zest. All right, okay. Edit, click on the dots, pick Zest. Okay, okay again, okay. <laughs> now we're gonna do, so check where you're at. Right now I'm on drawing the Zest one. So I'm gonna get a rectangle. Uh, I'll say it's probably gonna be maybe like this person's office. So I'm gonna go in there, click the green arrow, click over here. There's Zest, alrighty. The other nice thing is this one, since I was using carpet, uh, Revit's carpet file is my base. When I go to look at it in hidden, it's already got the little speckles to tell me it's carpet. So that's great, that's working good. Um, consistent colors, it's that kind of tannish color. Um, let me do one more just so you can kind of see the difference in it. So we'll go to um, where we get, oh, flooring there, floor architectural. Then down here, we're gonna pick, this time let's pick Verve. And I'm gonna do this little room right here just to keep it simple. And the wood flooring, I'm gonna show you an example of a kind of oddball shapes. All right, so that's all done. Green arrow, check it. 
click over to the side, there's my verb. This one's reading a little strange. This is one that's supposed to, when you put it down, look like a broadloom carpet. We'll see how it looks in rendering if I, if I keep it or not. But that's where we're at with carpet. All right. Next one I'll do is wood flooring. 